Good morning, Maria Sanchez here with Random Positivity and it is our day 53 of 30 and 30 challenge. We are doing one new thing every single day for 30 days. So today we are gonna be doing a quiche. I've never made one before. I have heard the word and I was curious about it and I've been wanting to make one. So we're making one today. It's gonna be a bacon and cheese quiche. Mm. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Bacon, cheese, and of course, egg. And egg. So let's get started. These are the items that you're going to be needing. One package of Pillsbury pie crust. One cup of milk or half and half. Four eggs. Salt and pepper. Grated Parmesan cheese. Grated cheddar cheese. Eight strips of crumbed up crispy cooked bacon. Now that you have your items, we are going to be placing our pie crust into our pan. I do not own a pie pan. They said you can use a, just a round cake pan. So if you don't have the pie pan, use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy it. And you do want to soften this before using the, using this uh, pie crust. So this is actually my first time <laughs> using pie crust too. So it's a couple of new things today. And this will be my first time placing it down. So how do you soften it? You can either leave it out for 15 minutes or put it in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds. If you happen to get any holes, you can just press it. If you don't have a pie plate, use parchment paper on the bottom of your cake round. Just get the parchment paper, put it over, and you're gonna trace around the bottom and then cut out that shape. And then there you go. I believe I'm supposed to press down on the edges. All right, now that this pan is Covered. <laughs> and just let it chill out for a moment. Okay, we are going to mix this up. So, the rest of our stuff. You mean, had the thing said not to mix it, we'd have been. Um, that's the other thing. You could use either milk or half and half. We got milk, so I'm utilizing our milk. How much milk? It is one cup of milk. Pour that right in there. Boom. One cup. Let's go ahead and crack these in here. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit so that it's slightly beaten. Then it does say to use four ounces of cheese. We're gonna go ahead and dip that in. Four ounces. Bacon on the bottom, but I put it in the eggs. Let's say to use a quarter cup of the Parmesan. And then we're gonna pour on our mix here. All right, I'm gonna do one turn. Okay. Oh, no, there. that's too much. <laughs> Pour this in here. There you go. And we're gonna let that sit inside the oven, which we preheated at 350. Okay. How long? So uh, that's gonna go for 40 to 50 minutes. We're gonna check this again and make sure that this quiche is done. Go ahead and poke on a different part here. See, that's the same thing. So I think it was clean. We're gonna go, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Our quiche has cooled down, and as you can see, it's deflated quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and cut it open and try it out. It is hot. I never wait long enough. It's hot. Hey, 
it. Okay, so the bacon pops. The egg is not uh, watery at all. It's cooked very well, and it's it doesn't taste like. Or I mean, the texture isn't overdone, which is really nice. And you taste the cheese throughout it. The crust itself. The crust, I, other than added a little bit of added texture, I don't taste the crust because the bacon is a, a little more overwhelming in the flavor of all of this. It's, I, and I'm actually glad that I, I only added a little bit of that salt because I think if I added any more, it could be too salty due to the bacon. But this is a tasty little dish. I think it's a fun, uh, I do think it's a, a fun thing to, to kind of have. It's a little different for breakfast, especially if you're kind of tired of doing the same scrambled egg over and over again. So I hope this inspires you to do something new and uh, try some new stuff. <laughs> Bye.